Hey up everybody, uh, I'm on to the next part at Loco Build. I'm sticking with the theme really, I'm still on the cylinders, there's a lot to work in these two cylinders. If anybody's done any you'll, you'll appreciate how much work's in them. But uh, I want to take a look at the, I'll continue with the internal parts now, I want to have a look at the valve that fits in the valve chest. I think in the last part I did the pistons, the piston rods and the piston rings in the last few videos. So I've had a rummage round me off cut drawers and I found this bit piece of bronze here. I'm hoping that it's going to be I'm going to be able to get both the valves cut out this piece of bronze. It's going to be tight. So uh, without any further ado, then I'll show you drawing for these valves and we'll crack on with this. Here we are then, here's the valve block. Uh, there's two of these to do. It's inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter footprint and then it's 11 sixteenths high. There's a pocket cut on the bottom and then uh, various slots cut on the top. There's also a drive block to do and the adjusting notes but that'll be for next time perhaps. I'll just show you where this valve fits for anybody, anybody that's not quite sure what I'm doing. I know all you experts out there are going to know all this. So uh, here's the cylinders, here's the cylinder cover, here's the valve chest that sits on top of the cylinder and then inside here on the cylinders is the inlet valves and the exhaust valve and the actual slide valve is going to fit over these ports so it'll be moving backward and forward letting the steam in the inlet then exhausting then letting the steam in the other side of the inlet on its reverse stroke and so on so uh, this piece of material I've got then, I might have to just tweak the sizes a little bit to get to be able to get it out of this, but it'll not be of any detriment as long as it's covering those ports in all its various positions. Okay, I've got this little piece of bronze. I've took the rough bit off the edge. I've marked it all out for the footprint, and you'll see here. I'm a fraction short on that corner, not much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to get this cut out. I've got plenty. I've got enough on the uh, thickness, eleven sixteenths. Uh, I've got a sixteenth to play with on the thickness. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to do a bit of cardiovascular work, get this cut out, and on these two corners, I'm going to silver solder an extra piece of bronze just to fill that corner in and then uh, Bob's your uncle
Okay, then I've got the um, horizontal slots in. This will be cut in half when I've finished. So I've just got to move over now from each end three eighths with a quarter um, slot in the opposite direction. Okay, then that's all the bits for the uh, the valve finished. Two valves, two drive blocks, 
four adjusting nuts and two spindles so just for anybody that's not quite sure how these fit together I know all you experts out there are going to know all this but this is for anybody that's new to uh, to this sort of work uh, the spindle is going to fit into the valve chest then you're going to put a nut on in that direction now I've purposely made these nuts a fraction tight just uh, I don't want them to vibrate loose once they tighten no. up so I'm just going to put these on with, with spanner they're not they're not really fantastically tight but they, they're not loose bit too much you've got to thread these in uh, a little bit at a time uh, then the drive block is going to fit on <coughs> so I can now bring that down a little bit then another nut in the opposite direction then the valve is going to sit <coughs> inside the valve block with the valve block inside obviously they'll have to be tightened up fully once the valves are set on the loco so once them screw once them nuts are nipped up to the va to the drive block the valve isn't actually nipped onto them it's just loose look it's just located into that drive block then once the valves are set this is, com this is coming in and out like that over the cylinder ports I'll move over to cylinder and I'll show it you on, on the cylinder So when the rest of the drive is attached to this spindle and once you've got your valve set that's going to set the timing on the valve openings and closings and that's what you use them adjusting nuts for to get your valve timing correct it's just for the benefit of anybody, anybody that's setting off in this uh, hobby just got to make a blanking plug for this end and I've got to make the gland for this and I've got obviously got to make the steam pipe inlet manifold and that's most at work done now on cylinders so these glands here that go on the valve spindle are fastened into the valve chest on that boss there on each side then this other one it's a bit bigger a little bit bigger this one that's for the actual cylinders so the the glands fit onto the three screw holes in the covers same on the valve chest there's three holes in there
Well that's it then, uh, that's another day of my life gone. <laughs> I've got all them uh, valves sorted out now, cylinders are more or less completed now. Uh, so uh, I don't know what I'm going to move on to next but um, I'll catch you in the next video. So if you found that useful, interesting etc etc, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you next time then. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.